What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ali, Shen Corzine, Five Star General. Hopefully it's not too dark around here. I'm outside, it's nighttime, but I still gotta get you guys this video. I'm trying to really get you guys a lot of good content and I believe this video is gonna help a lot of people. So I got a question on my Q&A on uh, Instagram and it was basically asking me what motivates me. So I decided to take that particular question. I'll put the question on the screen so I can give credit to who it was that asked the question. But I wanted to go ahead and give you guys what motivates me, what's kept me motivated throughout the years. And then also I wanna give you guys three tips on how you can stay motivated and whatever goals that you wanna accomplish. We're talking more in the fitness realm, but you can apply these to anything. So let's talk about me really quick and then I'm gonna help you guys out, okay? So what's kept me motivated over the years really um, has been two major things. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first started working out, um, what motivated me the most was uh, just the fact that, um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, it was for girls, man, okay? Um, I wanted more attention um, from women. I think a lot of guys start off working out for that purpose, you know, to get more attraction from the opposite sex. I mean, that's only natural. There's plenty of women who do the same thing to get attention from guys. But along the way, you, you realize that that's not enough to keep you going. That's enough to get you in the gym, but it's not enough to keep you going. And using some other person as a motivation is not enough to keep you going in anything in life. If you really want something, it's because you have to want it. And that's what's gonna make you stay and stick with it for years and years and years. You know, when you're relying on somebody else as kind of a stimulus to what you're trying to accomplish, it, you're, you're faulty from the beginning. So it, it's not gonna be something that's gonna, you know, be something that you can maintain longevity in terms of goals. My motivations have completely changed. I'll give you guys basically the top two things that motivate me. Number one has to be the impact that it has on all my friends and family. I feel that a lot of people have begun working out and be, like being more cognizant of their diet and working out and, and fitness in general because of me, because I've been consistent for five years now. You know, I'm always preaching and showing people through videos. I have family members who watch my videos and when they see me, they're like, yo, your videos, you know, they motivate me and um, I get a lot of good tips and things like that. And of course, you know, people like my vlogs because it shows that I can still have fun and do regular people things, but I'm still in shape and I, still, I just find time to work out, you know? Um, it's all about balance. So I would say that that really has impacted me. Um, I will share one personal detail only because I know that my mom would not mind but my mom used to be really, really heavy, like um, into drinking Coca-Cola, right? The soda or whatever. And for the longest, we, you know, tried to get her to stop, or whatever. And one day she just did. Now I'm not gonna say I'm responsible for that, you know. But as y'all have, as I've said in other videos, my mom now she literally grinds every every day. She's up in the gym, man. She's up in the gym. She's doing great. Um, my mom eats pretty, very healthy now. Um, and if that's something I'm really proud to see, I don't know if I had an influence on that or not. Um, but mom, if you are watching, uh, I'm just I'm glad I'm glad to see that. You know, everybody in my family is really getting into you know the gym life. You know, my brother works out. My dad, you see me work out with him. My sister even goes to the gym. Everybody in my family works out, and that's awesome. That's something that really has kept me going and motivated. Just seeing that, and of course my friends and things like that. Number two has got to be you guys. The people who are watching this video who support me, who've been supporting me for the longest, you guys, when you comment and say I look great or that I helped you out or that you love the videos or, you know, the interaction and the camaraderie and the community that we built here on Strength Core, like it's, that's, that keeps me going, believe it or not. There's some days I'm like, oh, oh my God, but somebody will leave a comment and be like, yo, your video is awesome, can't wait for the next one. And that makes me want to pull out my camera and record something else for you guys. So those are my top two motivations. Um, both my family and you guys have kept me going for so long and I can't say that without you guys. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't have been able to accomplish it because like I said earlier, it's definitely something that you have to want yourself, but I definitely feel that I'm a lot further along than I would have been all by myself. So I really wanna thank you guys for that. Now, I'm gonna get to helping you guys out. So here's three tips on how you can stay motivated. Tip number one, you gotta set goals, man. You have to have goals. If you're going into something and you don't have a goal, a finish line almost, um, 
you're, you're not gonna have any sense of direction. You know, that's like saying, okay, I wanna go to the gym, but what do you wanna do? Are you trying to build muscle? Are you trying to lose fat? Like, what do you wanna look like? What are your goals, you know? Anything in life, you know? Oh, I wanna work for this job. What's your goal by working for this job? Are you trying to advance? Are you trying to do this? What are you trying to do? In anything in life, you have to have a goal. You have to have something that you're ultimately trying to reach. And when you reach that, you need to set new goals. And I think part of that, I, I can speak from experience. When I'm in the gym, it's cool to have fun and things like that, but I'm much more focused and I have a lot more fun when I'm actually, when I have goals, you know? When, when there's goals for me to achieve, whether I'm dieting, trying to build muscle, they're, like when I have a solid goal, I have way more fun because I'm, I'm working towards something as opposed to like right now, I'm just kind of maintaining. And the gym to me is not as fun because it's like, eh, I'm doing this, whatever, whatever, but it's not as fun. So have a goal, okay? Number two is to maintain consistency and develop habits, okay? What this basically means is this, man. Whenever you start off doing something, you set your goal and it's time to start, right? Maintain consistency. No matter if you wake up and you're like, oh, I don't necessarily wanna do this. Let's, I don't wanna go to the gym today. Oh, I'm kinda tired. Do it anyway. You're gonna thank yourself later because later on you're gonna be like, yo, I didn't really wanna go, but I went and I feel awesome and amazing. And then the next day you'll wanna go. And then after that you'll wanna go. And then you might run into another day where you don't want to and you do it anyway. Because that's how you progress, you know? There's, you're not gonna wake up every day and wanna do what it is necessary to get to your goal. Some days you're gonna wake up and be tired. Some days you're gonna be upset. Things are gonna happen in your life that are gonna make doing things to reach your goals a lot harder, but you gotta just do it. You know, there's sometimes you just gotta suck it up and just do what you gotta do. And that basically develops into making habits. You know, I think they say it's like 20 or 21 days to make a new habit. Once you do that, like me, going to the gym or working out or doing something to maintain my fitness level is a daily thing. It's like brushing my teeth, showering, you know? It's something that has to be done, you know? It's not something that's like, oh, if I have time today, it's like, no. This is part of my day and I'm going to find time for it. You wouldn't skip out on baths, I hope. You wouldn't skip out on brushing your teeth, I hope. So you shouldn't skip out on your fitness, I hope. But anyways guys, it's about developing habits. You wanna make sure that um, you're maintaining your consistency and that's gonna make it a lot easier and you're gonna see progress a lot quicker instead of starting, stopping, starting, stopping. So that's tip number two. Tip number three and the last tip, something that's very important is don't stress yourself out. I see a lot of times people will stress themselves out over a goal. You should never be stressed out over something. If something is stressing you, maybe step back a little bit. Maybe you're trying to get to where your goals are too quick. Step back and get there a little bit slower. You know, if it's putting a stress on your life, or stress on any relationships you have, or if it's just stressing you out. You know, you feel like you wanna do this, but just the amount of energy you're putting in is maybe too much, more than you can handle, then taper back a little bit. It's okay, as long as you're still moving in a forward direction, it's all right. Now, I'm not saying to completely stop and just be like, okay, let's say you're going to the gym seven days a week, every day. You're probably gonna burn yourself out, honestly. I don't even work out every day, you know? So maybe instead of going every day of the week, cut it back to five days, you know? Work five days a week and take a couple days off. You're still gonna get great results. You're still gonna you know, be working towards your goals, but now of two days of stress is off for you, especially if you're somebody who's got like time constraints. So whatever goals it is that you're going towards, make sure that it's not stressing you. It's something that's fun, it's something that you're working towards, and it's something that you're proud of. Those are my motivations and the things you can do to motivate yourself. It's Motivation Monday, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Look out for another one tomorrow. I'm really on a roll with these videos. I'm trying to see about this daily vlog thing, man. I'm, I'm giving it a try, man. I, I, I'm liking it so far, you know. I'm not gonna say every day is gonna be a video, but for right now, I got a lot of content I wanna record. I'm just picking up my camera and talking to you guys, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do enjoy the daily vlogs, leave a comment below down if you like seeing videos every day or if you like seeing them every other day just let me know what you guys like i'm just i'm trying different things out don't forget the orders subscribe and share like and comment follow all my social media so next time my double dogs dismissed <laughs>